Now, guess what? Donald Trump, he got the COVID and this is the way he deals with it, right? My guy got COVID, right? And I guess in a way to kind of show effort and to no, to show force and power and machismo and never say die attitude, he decides to do an entire photo shoot at the Water Reed um, Hospital that he's currently situated in to kind of, you know, put forth this idea or this impression that he's not suffering and he's strong and America's not going to crumble and all this sort of good stuff. And it's just like, God almighty, people are dying on the street. Homelessness is uh, all time high. Unemployment all time high. People's houses are burning, right? And this guy decides to do an entire photo shoot, bronzer included, because I think he did a couple of videos where he's looking a bit grey. I'm pretty sure he was aware of that and decided to make necessary changes so that he looked nice and tanned. Just an utterly bizarre individual, but and also a perfect encapsulation of 2020, isn't it? Like. Just imagine what it must be like being a fan of Trump as well. How hard it is to kind of, not hard to back him, but like how hard it is to kind of, um, what do you say, rationalize this, explain this, or, you know, there's no way you can explain this really, is it? Because fair enough, you got it. I think, you know, people can get it. Even though he's, he's meant to be in one of the most secure bubbles ever, I think the way that he's going around, you know, the nation, campaigning and stuff, which he's in his right to do, but, you know, he's more likely to get it than most people because he's connecting with or connecting or touching so many people, even though he tries to maintain distance and he says he wears a mask, blah, 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 blah. That necessarily isn't the case. It's just the optics of it. That's really the thing. That's what the mask is really, isn't it? Mask is usually should be classified as an optics thing. It's not even a health and safety thing because I think in the States, you know, there's there's a whole conglomerate of people that just don't believe the virus is as bad as it there was the scientists are making out and they're never going to be convinced otherwise so the only thing that you can sort of rely on the only thing that you can sort of use to kind of fight your to kind of hold your position will be to say hey it's not about you know um adhering to the science guidelines it's just a way of us showing solidarity with each other and saying hey we're going through the same thing you know how somebody or you know some kid um, unfortunately has leukemia or has some sort of ir um, incurable um, cancer and then you know they you know they have to go through chemotherapy they you know their hair falls out they have to shave their head and in the act of solidarity sometimes their close family or friends will shave their heads in solidarity too because you know especially if you're a young kid shaving your head bald can be a bit of a traumatizing experience so you know in terms of to kind of be there for that person to show solidarity with your friend with your family member you shave your head too a mask should be treated the same sort of way right if you, if again if you're a non-believer in the virus you should just treat it the same way like hey we're all going through the same stuff so i'll just put it on just so i can make everyone around me feel at ease less so about you more so about everyone else around you but again in this individual individualist individualistic life we live in with everyone you know essentially has their own reality tv show running 24 7 on their own social media platforms it's very um uh it's very naive to expect people to somehow um adhere to some sort of civic responsibility and think about their neighbor in terms of when whether or not should wear a mask it's just not going to happen and this is a further indicative of it isn't it because um he just thinks you know what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do but then the interesting development on it is that he decided to film a video too off the back of it right detailing his experience and saying hey this ain't a big deal i'm okay I'll be fine. And let's watch a bit of him talking now. We're getting great reports from the doctors. This is an incredible hospital, Walter Reed. The work they do is just absolutely amazing. And I want to thank them all, the nurses, the doctors, everybody here. I've also gotten to meet some of the soldiers and the first responders and what a group. I also think we're going to pay a little surprise to some of the great patriots that we have out on the street. And they've been out there for a long time and they've got Trump flags. And Does it mean all these voice sound a bit? You know, when you're holding on a cough. So he's got COVID. He's meant to be quarantining for what, two weeks or meant to be under observation because supposedly it's on oxygen, which is somehow debatable. But he decides in his infinite wisdom because he's feeling good, right? He's feeling strong. He's feeling healthy. That he wants to go outside and meet some of the protesters or some of the sorry, supporters that are outside gathered around the Walter Reed Hospital, which is again another bizarre thing to see, you know, that they're actually there there's fanboys for politicians now, which is bizarre to say the least, but I think it's a natural consequence, right? When people hate one side so much, the natural reaction is to be, you know, I'm gonna back this guy, right? It's natural. But this is just utterly bizarre, man. Utterly, utterly bizarre to see. He's driving in a fully armored car. 
saying hi to the people that came out to, I guess, give him some good wishes while he's holed up in the office. So bizarre. There he is in the motorcade, waving by with the window drawn up a little bit. And that's him there. There's Trumpeter waving. What a bizarre world, isn't it, that we're living in right now? And again, think about it. It's less about even if, you, if not you believe if it's real or not. It's more about sending a message, right? That we're all in this together. Nah, I'm not. I'm doing it my own way. And this is maybe explained away a little bit via this um, article from NPR where Mary Trump basically says the, f the family sees illness as unforgivable weakness, which kind of explains how he's kind of dealing with it. This is from NPR. It says the following. It says the attitude about illness is looming larger over the president's coronavirus treatment. White House physician Sean Connolly said on Sunday that he didn't initially disclose that the president was given oxygen on Friday despite multiple questions about it from reports because he was trying to reflect the upbeat attitude of the president. <laughs> That's insane, man. That's insane. The White House physician is lying to the American public about whether or not Trump got oxygen. Why? To save face. Like, who cares if he got oxygen? He's an older dude, isn't he? He's just going to get it. Oh, this is so weird. So, Trump's estranged niece, Mary Trump, said members of the Trump family have um, viewed illness as a display of unforgivable weakness. Mary Trump, who is suing the family for money and recently wrote Too Much and Never Enough, How My Family Created the World's Most Dangerous Man, told NPR's Michael Martin that illness was seen as unacceptable by Donald Trump and his father, um, Fred Trump. She said, which sounds incredibly cruel, but it happens to be true. That's why the U.S., uh, it, the US is in the middle of a horrible place we're in because we cannot admit to the weakness of being ill or our other people being ill, Mary Trump says. Um, there have been more than 7 million cases of coronavirus in the US and more than 200 people have died. So that kind of explains why he decided to go out in his motorcade and, you know, wave to supporters outside. But again, it's such a bizarre way to do it. I don't think any other leader in, world, in the world, even, even someone like a Putin, would have done it this way. Um, it'd be interesting to see what happens with the elections though going forward. Um, whether or not this will hamper his chances of getting re-elected or not, I'm not too sure. I'm not really sold on it. I think everyone's kind of talking up Joe Biden as a viable candidate, but I think the people that actually are going to go out and vote are going to secretly go out and vote for Trump anyway. I, I, have a, I definitely think that. I think when, from from looking at history, whenever there's been, whenever a country's going through some sort of tum tumultuous time, they very rarely decide to change leadership. Usually everyone just thinks, you know what, we're dealing what we're dealing with at the moment. The last thing we need is a change of leadership, change of administration, um, and you know, a tearing up of the rule book just to kind of appease ourselves because we've got somebody that's annoying. I think if you if you can get through four years of Trump, you can get through another four years. Just grit your bed, just grit your teeth and sort of kind of get through it for the most part. I don't think, you know, because if you think about it, especially from the outside looking in, he, the ba the worst thing about him is just what he says less so about what he actually does right i think there are people in his administration the people within the republican party who are far more dangerous right you look at people like um what's his name moscow mitch um and the stuff that he's allegedly done right and you think to yourself god if ever there's somebody that actually needs to be challenged um it'll be someone like himself right like a mitch mcconnell but you look at stuff the stuff that trump has actually done it's actually riled people it's mostly the stuff that he actually says out aloud you know it's not really becoming of a prime minister sorry it's not really becoming of a president so if you can maybe grit your, grit, your, grit your teeth and bear it for another four years and then get an actual proper candidate people can believe in or kind of back, then that would probably be the best way to go about things. But I don't know. It doesn't seem like people in America have that kind of level of patience. They're probably at the end of their tether. You know, people are protesting in the street. People are LARPing and doing all these weird sort of like cosplay sort of fights in the middle of Portland and stuff. So if anything, this is probably the time that they're going to need to make some level of change because they just can't handle it anymore. But yeah, what a weird way to deal with things, right? What a weird way to deal with COVID in public too, especially when you want to, I guess it's not really, it doesn't really vie away from his brand, but if you want to implore the nation to sort of take the virus seriously, um, to not take unnecessary risk, you know, going out in your motorcade to say hi to people, especially if you think about the idea that it's a bulletproof car, right? It's probably the breeding ground for 
a an airborne virus to spread right because it's hermetically sealed i'd imagine right it has to be sealed in a way that would prevent you from getting shot at or for you know in any way shape or form so that's probably a perfect breeding ground for covid to spread i'd imagine they're probably making all the necessary precautions they're testing everybody every day as they do in america i don't know what they're doing but yeah what a bizarre what a bizarre bizarre world we're living in man trump gets covid and the way he deals with it is taking is doing a bloody photo shoot like it's just utterly utterly bizarre really really is like just just like I, I don't see what anyone's meant to get from that like do you buy any of this like is this does this make any sense to you does it fill you with confidence probably not in it but again maybe in his side of things as well he couldn't stay quiet he knows if he would have stayed quiet and just received treatment they were going to put so much mud on his name they're going to disparage him make up rumors so he had to kind of come out show us show a kind of uh you know put a strong face on it and hope that that's enough to sort of see him through to the next elections but what a bizarre state of affairs what a bizarre state of affairs 